his proudest moment. <laughs> now, uh, if you'd like to be a part of our uh, studio audience, because it's a party every Friday night, right here. Thank you for that unprompted frenzy. Ladies and gentlemen, here's the information of how you can be in the studio audience for Live on Bowen. Check this out. If you'd like to be part of the studio audience here at Live on Bowen, all you have to do is head to our website, liveonbowen.com, or email us, audience at liveonbowen.com. We'd love to have you in the audience, so book your seats now and we'll see you in the studio. Back to you, Rob. Thanks, Craig's voiceover. Now, at the age of 23, our next guest took the esteemed honour of drawing the world-renowned comic strip Ginger Megs, which is now syndicated to over 120 papers throughout more than 34 countries. He also adds comedian and improviser to his CV. To learn more about what it's like to draw cartoons for a living, please welcome my friend Jason Chatfield. Hello, Rob. How are you, Jace? I'm good, mate. How are you? I'm very good. I'm very excited to have you here. It's I'm awesome. I'm excited to be here. Now, I'm excited to have you here because we've worked on the big hoo-ha together. We have. We are alumni. We are alumni, but yes. my, <laughs> my uh, year five version of me, so like my 11-year-old version of me would be very excited to meet you. Really? Because you're doing what I want to do when I was in primary well, school. Yeah. Tell me, how the hell did you get into being... A comic book artist. Well, a, um, a cartoonist. A cartoonist yeah. is, the, is the word. A cartoonist is the official term. Is the official term, uh, according to the UN. No, the, the cartoonist <laughs> is a person who writes and draws the cartoon. Yes. So you know, you have a writer, but then you have a cartoonist and an illustrator. Anyway, um, well, I, I did it uh, when I was little. You know, just like you, just yeah. like five-year-old Rob, which is starting <laughs> to sound really scary now that I think about it. It's a little tiny little version of you. <laughs> um, uh, and you know, I, I just, it's all I ever did. It's all I ever did when I was growing up. And then uh, when I was working at a newspaper, I was doing like 20 hour shifts. Yeah. You know, doing stupid like press stuff and doing the printing and the finishing and the writing and the proofing and everything. And the editorial cartoon. Um, a guy called James Kemsley um, and I crossed paths and he was the president of the Australian Cartoonists Association. And okay. he happened to be the cartoonist for Ginger Meigs at the time as well. Because it's gone through four other artists before right. me in the last 90 years. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. So that's, but that's a small number. Sure. In that's 90 a, years, that's a small that's number. That's a lot. Yeah. They, you know, and you're yeah. a part of that esteemed uh, alumni. Sure. Yeah. So about three days before he died, uh, he asked me to take it over. And, uh, and I, I did. You know, with a heavy heart, obviously. But yeah. it was a very bittersweet kind of way of... Adopting such a big thing. Yeah. Now we'll, we'll go on a bit more, but you've got your your I do. pad and pen. What, what, what are you What are you going to never what are you leave home do with without it? it? It's a really old school iPhone. What are you going to be? <laughs> <laughs> this is what they did before draw something. Where, where, yeah. where are the apps? Where are they going uh, to get to the apps? <laughs> I'm going to draw you. You're going to draw right? me? Yeah, can, can, can we still do an interview? Where you... Yeah, I can talk and draw. One person's that... impressed by that. One person went, "I love drawings," and that was our producer. <laughs> this is good TV. <laughs> <laughs> The ratings are already through the roof. <laughs> Love that. We got 20 people this week. Awesome. <laughs> We've doubled our figures. Um, his voice isn't that uh, deep. I now, know, why does everyone talk like that in your audience? <laughs> it's, it, uh, just start vetting just people talented. differently. Now, you've just come back from your honeymoon. I have. Yes, yeah. I was overseas. I was in America. The yeah, Americas. The Americas. The now, Americas. on your honeymoon, where'd you go? I uh, went to Vegas, went to New York, went to Honolulu, just to offset all the insanity of both of those places. Now, you're in Vegas for another reason as well, not just for your honeymoon. Yes. Yeah, I'm a very romantic man, you see, Rob. Yeah. So, I went to a cartooning convention for my honeymoon. It was a, it was a conference. It was uh, a conference. And who was there? Who was there at this? Uh, well, I was hanging out with me old putty uh, Jim Davis, who does Garfield. You met... You, you, you yeah. Met, and yeah. I've seen there's a photo. You actually got a photo with Jim Davis. I got a photo with him. Uh, we hang out. We're good mates now. Um, he <sighs> hates lasagna and he avoids Mondays. No, and I met the guy <laughs> who does Archie as well, uh, Stan Goldberg. He's, yeah. I was hanging out with him and all the mad guys. Kathy Guys White, who does Kathy. Um, <laughs> And, you know, all the other comic guys, the Simpsons guys and the, all, those, all those names you, the people drop with cartoonings. I was hanging out with them. Now, what, what, what is the atmosphere like at a cartoonist convention or, you know, forum, um, conference? There's, there's a lot of this. There's a lot of that. <laughs> um, it's good because, you know, the, we spend our entire lives sitting in a studio yeah. uh, not talking to each other and then we all get to come out into daylight for, you know, one weekend of the year and... <laughs> And talk to each other, and uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Now you also do 
as well as being, you know, Australia's number one cartoonist, you Not also. Number one. I well, mean. I say, in, to, I think the studio audience thinks it's number one. I as think well. I'm live on Bowen Street's number one. Cartoonist. There you go. Um, but you're also not only a cartoonist, you're an actor, you're, sure. and you do improvisation as well. So. I do, I do stand-up, I do impro, yes. And how did you get involved yes. with, the, the, with the big hoo-ha? Because you were in Perth first? Yes, I'm from Perth originally. Yeah. I was over there uh, before I took over Ginger Meigs, and I moved here when I did so. Mm. And then uh, the original big hoo-ha back in Perth, um, I was doing it there, and then myself and a a few of the other improvisers started it up in Melbourne because we felt Melbourne deserved it. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, and I, you know, I, like, like yourself, I auditioned uh, for the new ensemble. You know, I didn't want to assume my place. Well, and uh, yeah, we do a show every Thursday night at 8 o'clock at the Portland. Because some of my favourite times on stage in Melbourne doing improv has been with you. Yes, um, well, there you go. Uh, what do you um, what 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 do you love about improvisation that you don't get in any other form of performance? Um, teamwork. I think you can't create like with stand up. You can't create stuff in the way that you can with impro. You just magically create something with other people yeah. on stage with impro. You know, it's a very different kind of and process. And something you don't get with cartooning, obviously. Yeah, that's that true. You're sitting in a room all day. You know. So, um, are you, how how are you going with the? Uh, would you, I reckon I'm nearly done. Do you guys want to see it? Do you guys want? <laughs> now. It's a very evil version of Rob because it's the Rob that I know. So, <laughs> so all right, three, two, two one. one. There you go. There's Rob. <laughs> yeah. That's uh, awesome. That's Rob how I know him. Jason Chatfield, ladies and gentlemen, right here. Yeah. Still loads more to come on the show. After this, we've got Stephen and Craig. Don't go anywhere. This is Live on the One.